Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation about Smart Scribble, protocol-based smart contract generation. We start this presentation by giving you some context. Uh, I'm sure most of you already know uh, what's written in this slide, but it's important so we can contextualize the rest of the work. Um, so first and before all, we need to recall uh, the the main characteristics of blockchain, which is a decentralized, distributed and immutable digital ledger that can deploy smart contracts. Um, smart contracts are indeed self-executing scripts uh, with the terms of agreement uh, written in code. These type of contracts, due to the nature of the blockchain, um, cannot be patched or solve any type of oversight of problems that they may contain and because of these characteristics uh, they are very um, attractive targets to exploits and possible bug bugs uh, and this type of uh, exploit can cause very fine uh, very considerable financial losses as we see in this set of news um, it's usually some some type of um, oversight or bug in the programming language or lack of knowledge from the developers which can cause uh, millions of losses um, as we can see in these news and these news are not um, a relic of the past they are happening all the time uh, almost every week uh, we see one of these exploits stealing so many thousands of dollars um, so some approaches have been proposed in order to fix such issues one of them is the Cardano blockchain in general which deploys a Pluto's programming language both of these technologies are research driven and very uh, designed with security in mind. Uh, they focus on security which allowed the blockchain of Cardano and the cryptocurrency to have a very significant market share. Um, Pluto's which is one of the, the programming language of the blockchain and is a, a functional programming language uh, aims to provide expressive and reliable contracts. Um, despite all of that we were able to identify some problems uh, that the programming, programming language does have um, which is precisely the topic of the next section so we present in this slide the um, running example that we will use throughout this presentation um, we have a guessing game uh, where an owner locks secrets and the, and the players, a group of s players, makes guesses until one of them eventually guesses the correct word. The winner gets the prize deposited by the owner. Um, as we can see on the right, this is a well-behaved interaction where everything goes according to plan. But what happens if we slightly deviate from the the flow uh, of the that we intend uh, to have in this type of guessing game. Um, as you can see for the diagram, something goes wrong, like the player cannot um, get the prize despite guessing correctly. We will analyze why in the following section. So we have inputs on the left, the status of the contract is in the middle, and uh, the log which represents the, the logs of the smart contract. On the bottom we can see the sequence that we are following. So we start by making a lock. We have a secret um, on the on the contract um, and no problems here. The, the price gets uh, deposited in the smart contract indeed. Now what happens when the second lock ha arrives is that we had the second secret into um, well the group of secrets and now we have two different secrets this is obviously a problem uh, because when we try to guess one of them will necessarily be different since they are not the same word 
and this causes a problem because the game gets uh, rendered unplayable we try to make the other guess we get exactly the same results so we effectively lost 7 added to the to the smart contract and the, the game doesn't work as intended so this is obviously something that we do not want to have on our smart contract programming language uh, and oddly enough this uh, is the the first example that Plutus gives to the newcomers trying to learn the programming language and it appears to have a huge oversight so to solve this type of situation we introduce smart scribble protocol language for smart contracts um, that uses a base protocol to generate um, Plutus code and will integrate it with the state machine uh, the state machine will be used to um, verify the interactions what are the interactions in our case basically the endpoint calls and the order of the endpoint calls so we prevent vulnerabilities uh, such as the one we just saw on the guessing game um, we also have some objectives other than that in particular uh, to design a scalable and flexible solution that can be adapted to other blockchains uh, it's still only a proof of concept in Plutus but we we can indeed expand this to other blockchains and programming languages and reduce the code written by the developer this is mainly uh, for Plutus as it requires a lot of boilerplate code so we follow a simple three-step recipe to generate safe smart contracts the developer writes the protocol in smart scribble the compiler will generate the boilerplate code for smart contract and of course the state machine and then we will use such state machine to verify interactions and finally the last step the developer uh, has a specific model for business logic and it will change this module according to the necessities of the business requirements uh, stakeholders etc um, so we will now describe the, the guessing game protocol using smart scribble we have to start of course by the other where we define the name of the protocol and the roles we have in action in this case as we saw previously the owner and the participant now we want to store the secret somewhere that somewhere will be um, on the state machine and to do that we use the declaration of field byte string what this will do is that it will allocate some space of memory so we can use uh, objects of the type byte string to store um, the secrets in this case then we start by declaring uh, the endpoints the interactions so first we have a lock from the owner itself um, this will generate a new transition in the state machine next we want to have the participants guess but as it is this is not much use since um, well this would only allow for one guess because of that we had a rec loop which will allow for many of guesses because um, we can see in this case it's infinite which is not what we desire because we want to stop the game eventually because of that we had the syntax for to interrupt which will interrupt the set of statements if certain triggers are um, activated and to do that we first must declare a trigger which is precisely what we do we declare the trigger for related to fun close game and the objective is that uh, since a correct guess um, withdraws on the price we will have uh, zero funds on the contract if a correct guess happens so we can then activate a, a trigger based on funds which will uh, create the last transaction to finally close the game um, 
of course close game is initiated when the lock trigger is first called and is activated if there are no funds on the smart contract. Regarding the code that we generate, uh, we basically have three models. Uh, two that the developer should not um, interact with, which is the library and the contract model. These are um, generated automatically generated models that need no input from the developer and contain functions uh, for the smart contract and all the boilerplate, the state machine, the endpoint declaration, the interface, etc. And finally, as we alluded to previously, we have the business logic module, which will contain the signatures um, associated with the functions and triggers. And this is where the developer um, can then specify what are the, the field changes on the state machine and what are the validations that are necessary upon each interaction. Just so we have a notion from our simple guessing game protocol uh, that has 17 lines uh, or 15 if we don't count uh, the white spaces we generate around 200 lines of codes um, on the right we can see that um, it's quite a regular experience in Plutus to have a lot of lines of codes regarding the business logic module which is what the developer will um, interact with directly, we will only write these parts, the signatures and the imports are already there and we only need to add these, um, these custom business logics. So as you can see the developer writes a really tiny amount of the code that would be necessary otherwise. We now move to an evaluation section uh, where we study some results, in particular regarding the lines of code written and of course the performance. Start by comparing the lines of codes. Of course, um, Plutos is quite a new programming language. We do not have that large of a sample of expert implementation, so we used the ones that were available on the Plutos GitHub repository and compare them with um, the implementations we then made using Smart Scribble. So the bars on the left uh, represent the code for Smart Scribble and the bars on the right, which is only the red bar, uh, contains the expert implementations. As we can see, the total code for Smart Scribble always outweighs the expert implementations, but if we compare the protocol and the logic, which is uh, the code written by the developer, so the Smart Scribble protocol and the custom business logic, we then verify that the developer writes a tiny amount of what it would write otherwise. Uh, in particular, we are uh, reducing by 75% the code that the developer writes. Regarding um, the original problem, um, we need to, of course, question if we did indeed um, resolve it, which is what we will see in the following set of slides. So, on the bottom you have the state machine, and byte string 1 represents the secret word. The rest is as the previous uh, demonstration of what happens. So, we first call lock, nothing different here, we deposit the balance and the state machine uh, of course goes to the second state. We now have a second lock. As you can see, S2 only allows two transactions, close game and guess. Close game cannot even be called by um, an, a regular user. Uh, it can only be called by trigger. So we effectively have one valid option, which is guess, and we are trying to lock. This is not valid, of course, and we detect this thanks to the state machine no contract alterations happen here uh, neither to the state machine or of course the status of the balances um, which is precisely what we wanted we now make the guess we get the guess correct because we have zero funds in the contract 
the trigger will activate because the trigger activates we move to the last um, state and we can have the f game as finished and we were able to preserve the game it was able to be played and no funds were lost to the contract unlike the first scenario we saw and this is precisely what we wanted comparing performance uh, we see a very 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 similar uh, performance to the expert implementations that did use state machine um, the, the differences are residual for both memory and CPU usage as uh, some implementations of the experts outweigh ours some are uh, slightly more efficient but guess it depends a bit on the developer in question uh, we did uh, focus a lot on the, the expert implementations when um, programming the compiler hence the similar results so recapitulating the advantages of smart scribble it improves the reli reliability of smart contracts due to integration with the state machine which verifies which actions are allowed to be performed at a certain state in time it reduces the skill for and time investment by new programmers uh, by abstracting them from the 200 or so lines of boilerplate codes and of course because of that it's less prone to human errors as we have um, a defined approach that a defined protocol that users must follow furthermore the developers are writing less code which in terms uh, increases their um, quality of code since of course they are focusing more on the business and not some boilerplate necessary to get Bluetooth up and running so in this work we identify vulnerabilities of the Bluetooth programming language using specific use cases we propose a new programming language uh, to fix some of the problems we found with Bluetooth Smart Scribble which uses protocols to generate state machine to then uh, verify the interactions and be able to identify which ones are out of order and we made the evaluation to the best of our abilities regarding lines of code and performance comparison and test of problematic use cases regarding feature work we wish to integrate business logic directly into the protocol uh, we wish to also verify rule declarations uh, within a protocol so it's not currently being forced by the programming language that concludes our presentation thank you very much for your attention uh, feel free to check out the implementation of the programming language in the link in the repository that we have on the screen and feel free to raise any comment question or concern and thank you very much for for hearing and and watching thank you